Hi everybody, it's Miss Mary Carroll again from the Children's Room at the Bryant Library. Today I wanted to share a story with you called On Top of Spaghetti by Paul Brett Johnson. Howdy folks, welcome to Yodler Jones's Spaghetti Emporium and Musicale. You're just in time to hear about the big sneeze. It all started when they put in that fried fritter fricassee parlor next door. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and a pole. Yodeler, I said to myself, it's time to upgrade the menu. So I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. And I likely did, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. It rolled off of the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled out of the door. For all I knew, my entire future depended on that runaway meatball. I had to have a bite. I was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and it hit dear Miss Jenkins smack dab in the squash. Pardon my meatball, I said. Then I told my tale. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. <clears throat> that wasn't the end of it though, not by a monkey's tail. My meatball went a whooshin' and a whizzin', and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up, some tadwhacker was just about to chomp down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody squeezed. There it goes. That meatball shot to the outfield, boomeranged, whizzed by the shortstop, flew over the pitcher's mound, and headed directly for home plate. Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Talk about your home run. My meatball zoomed through the wild blue yonder, and where do you reckon it landed? <clears throat> it rolled in the garden and under a bush, and then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. Yodeler, I said, you might as well put up a for sale sign. Then lo and behold, a miracle occurred. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be, and by the next day it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew great big meatballs and tomato sauce. Know what? Those were the most delicious meatballs this side of Sicily. Nowadays, plenty of folks stop in for a bellyful. I always tell them though, if you eat spaghetti, all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball and don't ever sneeze. And that was the story of On Top of Spaghetti. I hope you liked it as much as I did. I hope you're all well and I hope to see you soon at the library. Bye.